Hi everyone, it's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for all the love and support that you give this channel to help it move forward. And a great big shout out to all the subscribers and the new members. If you've not subscribed yet, please do. It's easy and it's free. And if you'd like to join the channel, hit the join button below and you'll see what this channel has to offer with memberships. Also, I'm trying to hit 10,000 by the end of the year, so I can only do it with your help. So, help. thank you. In the meantime, we're in between some really weird energy. First of all, it's Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, March 31st here in the afternoon in Los Angeles. The sun is sort of shining. Is supposed to have thunderstorms later tonight. We'll see. But in the meantime, we're in between the energy of the eclipse from the 25th and the new one coming up on April 8th. In addition to that, we start Mercury retrograde. Yay! On the 1st through the 25th of April. Now, the one thing about Mercury retrograde, I always tell people, you know, there's pluses and minuses. Like, this is not the time to buy a car, refrigerator, or basically what we call the big ticket items. But this is the time to take the car for a test ride, kick the tires. This is not the time to sign a contract, but it is the time to take it to the lawyer to look at and or to write the contract. So you cross your T's, you dot your I's, you slow down. This is also a great time to do back paperwork and taxes. So, here you go. So again, there's pluses and minuses to this. But it, you can only make it what you want to make it. If you know you're going somewhere, take your time. If you're traveling, take your time. Okay? If your computer is about to crash, take your time. Okay? Believe me, there was one eclipse where... I, a laptop went nuts. I now have it as a, a beautiful, wonderful doorstop. And it could be repaired. Anyway, so getting that out of the way. So we're in Wiggy territory right now. And also got questions about the eclipse. Where Martha Spillman was asking, the path of the April 8th eclipse crosses the path of a previous eclipse, marking the center of an X in Texas. Is there any special influence or significance to this pattern? I don't know. It is it is what it is. I'm not Andre. I don't know. I think it's great that it's in Texas. I think the X marks the spot. That's where it needs to be. But as Deanna asks, do you think the energy in this country will change a little after the April 8th eclipse? And I'm going to say yes to that. I mean, metaphorically, I feel there's a lot of change coming up here. And the way I look at it is we're in this period right now, darkness, darkness, things get ugly, things get, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And we're all running around like Chicken Little without a head or running like Chicken Little. And I'm just telling everybody, it's only an acorn, shut up and sit down. And then as we get into the darkness, total darkness over Texas, then the sun shines, sun comes out. And to me, it reminds me of when we have a full moon. Things get illuminated. Things that were hidden are now seen. Well, here we have the sun coming out of total darkness over Texas. If that is not going to be a significant cha game changer, I don't know what is. Because this sunshine, to me, is going to be illuminating a lot of stuff. It's like turning on the light switch in the New York apartment and seeing all the critters try and scurry under the refrigerator. But this time around... I feel there's traps for all those little critters. And that trap is called Jack Smith. But we'll talk about that later. So anyway, yes, all this energy is nuts. But I also feel as the sun shines, things get illuminated. Things get purified. Things become sanitized. And people start taking off their glasses and start seeing what is. And this is where also I feel... The MAGA people, some of them, are going to start waking up because there's going to be a lot more stuff hitting the fan as we get into April. 
especially after the 15th, during the trial with Stormy Daniels situation. It's not going to be delayed, people. I really feel his lawyers can try whatever they want. Mershon is not going to delay this anymore. Okay? So April 15th is the date. Said and done. So the eclipse is going to change a lot of things. And don't forget, eclipse energy, it doesn't last that day. Like someone was saying, the one on the 25th could last up to 15 days. Well, this one can last up to a couple of months. So it all depends also on your chart. I'm not Andre, so don't quote me. But it can really... I keep on getting when, with my clients reading, there's a lot of positive changes coming up for them and a lot of shifting for the positive, not the negative, where things are being seen. So to me, it's a good thing. Now, moving forward, about this thing in Baltimore, a lot of people were asking if the ship that destroyed the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore was disabled by sabotage. No. No, it was an accident. It was horrific. People lost lives. But if you think about it, right now there is this cargo ship, 100 tons, sitting under a bridge. I mean, the, the cargo ship is about as big as the, uh, what do you call it, Statue of Liberty. And on top of it is all this construction of the bridge. So they have to dismantle a lot of things. And God bless all the people that are working on this, even today on Easter Sunday, because this is a very important waterway. So it will get done. And Pete Buttigieg being gay had nothing to do with it. Just saying. Okay? Now, moving on. I, I want to bring something up. There's a prediction I made a while back. Like sometimes this stuff comes out of my mouth. I don't realize it until I watch a show or until after I say it. I'm like, did I just say that? Well, I made a prediction about Vladimir Putin. I said that I did not feel he's going to be around too much longer after April 1st. Well, it's going to be April 1st. And... While I'm still standing by my prediction, I say he's not going to be around. I don't feel we're going to be hearing as much from him for whatever reason it is. In the meantime, I have been getting from a group a lot of emails recently just saying basically like, TikTok, TikTok, he's still alive. When's he going to die? You were wrong. All right, people, you know what? You don't need to do this. You don't need to go there. I mean, 10 years ago, if I was getting that kind of abuse, I would have, like, I don't know, taken my little herring road show and just gone back to St. Olaf, you know? But in the meantime, I'm sticking with what I say. If I'm wrong, I will admit to it. But there are times when... I've given predictions and the client will call me and say, you're wrong. I'm like, okay. But then they'll call me like a year later and say, you were right. It was just the timing was off. Which reminds me that sometimes as psychics, we don't like to give time frames. People want to know when, when, when. But believe me, upstairs, their clock and their calendars work a little bit differently than ours. It's like when people say, well, it's going to be a text. It's going to be an email. Are they going to send me that? My guys don't even know what a tweet is. You're lucky it's, you're not getting some, you know, they're not saying it's a quill pen that's going to write that letter. All right. They use the word communication. So just chill. But remember, a broken clock is still correct twice a day. And when I say Putin will pass, eventually, I'm correct. Okay? So I'm off that little soapbox, and now I'm shorter. But anyway, you don't need to write me those letters. 
please don't waste your time. I'm not going to read them. I have somebody else that's helping me now. So in the meantime, people are asking about Russia and Ukraine. As far as I've been saying this, and I'm still standing by, that within two years, Ukraine will be part of NATO. And for that to happen, that means they win, the war is over, and that the mon- for that to happen, the money has gotten there. So exactly when the money is going to get there, it'll get there when it's getting there. Believe me, I really feel Biden is doing things quietly with other countries. Money is going to be there. We are not going to let go of Ukraine as the Republicans in the House wish us we would because they're working. They're another arm of the Kremlin as far as I'm concerned. Entertainment purposes only. But why all of a sudden when Trump tells them to jump, they say how high with everything, including Ukraine. When Trump said if he becomes elected, he will let Vladimir Putin do whatever the hell he wants, quote, unquote. So, yeah, he's a scary man. So, speaking of scary men, what's even scarier is a scary man holding a Bible. Now, we've all heard of Bible thumpers, but now we have Bible trumpers. Isn't that cute? (sighs) I mean... When I heard Donald Trump is endorsing the Bible, there's something wrong with that. I mean, don't you feel there's something wrong with that? I mean, that would be like Hannibal Lecter endorsing the Mastering of French Cooking by Julia Child, both volumes one and two. It's just wrong. I mean, this is the man who used to hold the Bible upside down in front of a church. And now he's endorsing it. But also this God Bless America Bible, where I find it frightening, is the fact that it comes with a copy of the Constitution, Declaration of Independence, Bill of Rights, and your very own Pledge of Allegiance. Are they going to white out the fact that little section of the Constitution copy that says about separation of church and state. (sighs) Yeah, well, I'm an American and, you know. And then they say, well, everybody in America, they think just like everyone in America now. I don't know what America you're talking about. Not everyone. Okay? So, they did not corner the market on the Bible. They're just... Packaging it differently to suit their taste to make money and grift. In fact, Angelic Alchemy said it best. Hi, Arthur. Can you please let us know if the Trump Bible, I definitely didn't see that on my 2024 bingo card, neither did I, will have a negative impact on the Orange Menace's ability to raise money? As in, will this be a bridge too far for a donor for number of donors, especially the large dollar donors. Yes. And then, thank you for all the work you do. Thank you. Uh, what do you sense will be the outcome of Trump peddling Bibles? Is it a grift too far? Thanks. Remaina. And then, Alamichi, do you think this Bible grift will hurt Trump significantly? The man shameless. He's hacking Bibles. He doesn't think it's going to hurt him. I mean, it might be for Easter. Thank you very much. Um, All I can say is Biden raised, what, $25 million the other night. Trump's going to have to sell a lot of Bibles to catch up to that. So it's a grift, the grift that keeps on grifting. And I just feel that when he said in the ad for it, make America pray again. Yes, make America pray again that this man is not reelected as the president of the United States. That I agree with. Make America pray again that Trump is not elected. 
entertainment purposes only. My opinion. Thank you very much. Moving on. Now, a lot of people are asking about some of the judges, the court cases, and stuff like that coming up. Like, like Carmen, will Diaper Don's attorneys file more crazy appeals, especially when, when get trying it at least Wait, let's see this again. Diaper Don's attorneys file more crazy appeals, especially when get trying it at the last minute, when getting trying to do it at the last minute, like they did with for the hush money, since I'm sure Stormy Daniels can hardly wait to have her say in court. I actually feel the date is solid, April the 15th. Judge Mershon has put it in place. Now, even though Trump's going around gagging, gagging his mouth about everything else, especially Michonne's daughter, but still, here's another question. Why do judges waste their time issuing gag orders to Trump when they know his will not follow them and then do nothing or fine him a couple dollars? Well, they have to put it out there. But the thing is, we all know that Trump's going to take it to the edge. It's just who he is. Will something happen to it? Not yet. But it's about to. We're going to see. I'm going to say that as we get to the end of April, he's going to say or do something that's going to get him in trouble with the gag orders. Okay? Is Mashan going to add his daughter and himself to the gag order? I'm not sure. He might. But I'm psychically just picking up that Trump is going to say one thing too wrong. Is he going to prison? No. For this? No. Fine? Yes. I guess he can, what, hawk his uh, Farragomo shoes or something. Let's see here. Tuan. I'd like to know if the host of Fox News, especially The Five, Will ever admit they were wrong to support Jabba the Trump? Not that they're, gonna, they're never going to admit they were wrong. Please. That would be like Sean Hannity having come to Jesus meeting and telling everybody, I was so wrong. Ain't going to happen. So, maybe on Earth too, but not here. Uh, Teresa. Uh, let's see here. A ton of questions. She said, whichever ones that resonate with me. Will Don Porleone be able to make the reduced bond needed to appeal the New York fraud judgment? Do you feel Chump having to sell Mar-a-Lago to make bond? If so, will it affect the documents trial since it is the scene of the crime? Well, that's the whole thing. I don't think he can sell. I mean, probably could sell Mar-a-Lago, but he is selling a crime scene. Interesting, isn't it? Own your very own crime scene. With orange cones included. Um, first of all, I don't know if he's going to get the money. I know he was going to get the $4 million, or $4 billion, whatever it was. He wasn't going to get that. The half a billion. And then they reduced it. If the money comes in, I really feel they're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb where it came from. I don't care what back channels they use or anything they're going to find out where it came from they're smart they're clever but so are other people now also will Eileen Cannon Eileen Cannon be removed as the trial judge on the case did the Pope give Easter Sunday Mass yes I've been saying this for a long time so have others yes she's going to go bye bye and she's not finishing the case. Will the case be held or heard before the election? The way she's mucked everything up, I feel it'll be heard after the election. But by then, it's going to be too late. Because I do feel the 15th, uh, the Stormy Daniels in New York, that's a criminal trial. He's going to be said guilty on that one. And then I do, regardless of what the Supreme Court is doing regarding the immunity, he's, they're not going to give him immunity. And I do feel it will take a little time, but they will say he doesn't have it. And then Jack Smith goes running. 
and so does Judge Chutkin, and that'll be done. There'll be a verdict, which I feel is guilty, by the election. Entertainment purposes only. So, moving on. Sharon Talley. Hi, Arthur. Will Jared Kushner ever be indicted? Yes. Yes and yes. I mean, the way I've always seen it, the way my guides have always shown me, is that ever since he had his fingers in Kachogi's murder, entertainment purposes only, that he's going to get his comeuppance one way or another. Sometimes what I find is that the guides tell me that the powers that be let someone rise. They give them that false sense of security, and then they raise their hand and slap them down, and they fall faster and harder. So if you really want to know what a great guy Jared Kushner is, remember, this is the man that said, isn't it great? And he's waiting for Gaza to be cleaned out so that he and his people can now build luxury condominiums on the beach in Gaza. You can't make this stuff up. Horrible man. And I do feel that Ivanka will walk away from him. Marianne asks, will the person who planted the bombs in D.C. before the insurrection ever be arrested? And will we know them? Thank you. And then Opti Student 1 asks, do you know who the woman was who planted the pipe bombs by the RNC and DNC on Gene Shisk? Oh, yes, I do. We had dinner. Kidding. <laughs> was it MTG? No, it was a woman. Uh, will we ever find out? <laughs> I do feel in time this will be... I actually feel they know who it is. They just haven't released it yet. For whatever reasons, you know, these people, it's like moving chess pieces. Or better yet, do you remember in the original Clash of the Titans where the gods are sitting there moving Perseus and moving all the pieces on the, on the table? That's kind of it's like they know who it is and they're going to swat them when time is right. So they're under surveillance. I do honestly feel that. And that's what my guides have told me. Will Jim Jordan and MTG ever get what's coming to them? Yes. Yes. I see orange in their future or stripes. Um, Wally, Wabi Sabi Lady? I'm sorry, I always say I sound like a high school teacher doing these things. I think more Republicans in Congress will leave early. What do you think? Yes, that's why I think that Hakeem Jeffries is going to end up as our Speaker of the House before the election, because a lot of Republicans have had it, the good ones, not the crazies. But then again, I do feel that as we get into the January 6th hearing, trial, that's when the names of the, of the unnamed co-conspirators start coming out. And I would be surprised if some of them are in the house and they have to step down. So, ooh, it's going to be fun. Like I always say, get the popcorn, I'll get the butter, and we'll have a good time. And as Gerald says, don't forget the napkins. Okay. Now, moving on. Hi, Arthur. Bonnie. Bonnie Guard. Uh, hi, Arthur. Can you please see if these judges that are bowing down to Trump along with Cannon are connected? No, they're just doing what they're doing. I don't see like there's some secret phone calls they're making. Oh, let's do this. Let's do that. I don't see that. Okay. Moving on. Peggy Jeans. I'm concerned about the Supreme Court dragging its feet in this ruling on presidential immunity. Like I already said, don't worry about it. He's not getting presidential immunity. So don't even go there. Stop. It's going to be fine. Relax. Chill. Remember I said we're all running around like Chicken Little? It's an acorn. 
it's an acorn. Okay. Now, I got a lot of questions about some races coming up. Like Jitterbug22. Hey, sweetheart. One, Andy Kim, Democrat, New Jersey, is running for Senate in the district that is primarily red. Do you see him winning? He's a congressman for five years already. I'm getting a yes on it. It's a mild yes. I'm not getting, oh my God, you know, record numbers. I feel he, he gets it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Two, do you see Bob Menendez and his wife found guilty of their crimes? He went, yes. Done. Don't need to go on, onto that anymore. Captain MD, howdy. Hi, Arthur. Braun is a GOP member running in Indiana for governor. Will he win? He is evil and just as bad as the Satan. Unfortunately, I got a yes on that. Unfortunately. However, what I also got was once he's in, that little word called scandal comes up and he may have to step down. So he wins, but loses at the same time. Amy Waring. Hi, Arthur. I was wondering if you think Hogan will win the state seat in Maryland and if Ted Cruz will get reelected in Texas. I'm not sure about Hogan. I'm 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 up in the air on that one. I I cannot get a yes or no on it. But as far as Ted Cruz is concerned, I always feel he loses. However, if he does win, it's dark, dark money and a lot of shady deals, which comes to light and he'll be out. So just like the guy running for governor that's going to have to run away, so will Ted Cruz. I think they have a room for him in Cancun or something. So waiting. Then let's see here. Hi, Arthur. Will the mayor of New York have to step down because of the new allegations against him? Is Trump behind the allegations to get the mayor out? Will another Dem mayor win or will a Republican be elected to help Trump? I don't pe think people in New York really like Donald Trump. I mean, when I lived there, he was a buffoon. So, and I knew a lot of gossip columns back then. So everybody said he was just a buffoon. So I don't think New York likes him. So, but the thing is, as far as the mayor, I don't see the mayor stepping down. I don't. Another one. I'll say Kibby. Sorry. Hello, Arthur. Governor Wes Moore of Maryland is doing a phenomenal job in response to the Key Bridge collapse. Can you see what your guides say, have to say about his political future? He looks like someone destined for the national stage. Yes, he does. He holds himself well. He's well-spoken. He's well-groomed. And he knows what he's doing. I think he's very well-respected. And I do see a, a really good career for him moving forward. How high he's going to go, I'm not sure. But I, I, what I keep on feeling is he's at a level as governor where he likes to be. He likes where he's at right now. I don't see him wanting to like get greedy about things. He's very grateful for where he is, and he stays there for some time. But he's going to be there to help. He's going to be a name in the Democratic Party for some time. Okay? Now... Garden Genie. Isn't that like some invention from Ron Popeil? Garden Genie? Sorry. For a short time now, the Repubs have been a majority of one seat. Recently, a Democratic woman, Marilyn Lands, won a seat in the House in Alabama. Yay. Um, anybody hear about the thing called abortion? Anyway. Does this mean the House is now evenly tied with neither side having a majority? That I can't answer. All I know is that in time, Dems will take over. And this, I feel, is before the election. Actually, what I've been saying for a while is I see, I always said there's going to be a whisper campaign against Mike Johnson at the starting at the end of February. Hmm, it has happened. And um, he'll leave May, June. There'll be a placeholder for a month or two. And then in comes Hakeem Jeffries. That's how I'm reading it. Okay? So... Now talking about whether we'll be here or not. Bedouin? Will we see more houses sliding off cliffs or water inland due to glacier melting? 
Yes, I do feel that, unfortunately. Uh, we haven't learned our lessons when it comes to climate change. Uh, the water is rising. Sea levels are rising. Houses being built differently, though. I don't remember seeing, with all the rains, torrential rains we've been having here in Los Angeles, I haven't been hearing about mudslides and houses being lost. So, like we did, like, 10 years ago. In fact, I had a client who... Um, so they're running this new house. They loved it. It's in the hills. He and his wife. They were, and I said, now's not the time to buy that house. Don't buy it. They bought the house. Three months later, they called me and said the house was evicted. You know, it was condemned. They were evicted because it went down. Half of it went down the hill. Listen to your psychic. Anyway, but they're okay. They're fine. They got a new house. Everything's great. Wonderful. Love them both. Um, Raman asked, do you see central Illinois getting hit with bad weather? Here's what you mean by bad. But yes, I do. I feel there's going to be some rains and tornadoes. I don't know if it floods in that area, but I was feeling something about flooding. So it's like run to the hills. It's flooding. But the thing is, as the weather gets more extreme and extreme, it becomes more normal and normal and normal. So that's where we have to watch it. Okay? It gets frightening, people. Now, I love this one. Jephirim. Again, mispronounce your name. Sorry. And now for something completely different. More buffalo are being rehomed, rehomed to native tribes and more is going into restoring prairie original grasslands. Do you see a time when really large herds once again graze vast regions of the West and buffalo meat replaces much of the beef market? Better for the environment, climate change, and leaner beef. In a way, I do see it because actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but buffalo don't buffalo does not is not susceptible to cancer. So I think it would be healthier if that's if you're going to be a carnivore and eat meat, eat something that doesn't get cancer. But I do see them repopulating. Whether it'll be like like in the old movies with the buffaloes and everything like Wild Wild West or or how the West was won. I'm not sure. But I do see that there'll be more, more buffalo roaming. Now, DRC. Hello, Arthur. I always wonder about what part California plays in balancing ourselves and the world in a positive vibration. What can we do or continue to do for everyone in our part of the world to bring about a positive balance? Thanks for your insights. Well, you don't have to live in California to make a positive change with vibration and all that stuff. Yes, my relatives say, oh, you're in Los Angeles, well, the fruits and nuts, you know, ha, ha, ha. But then again, my family called me the black sheep of the family. And I said, I'm the white sheep of the family. <laughs> Sorry, people. So what can we do? We can do a lot. First of all, positive thinking. Gratitude. White light, purple light, green light. Whatever you want to do, throw positivity and light into the world, into every nook and cranny. Send love and light to the royals, send love and light to the families that lost their loved ones during this horrific crash of the boat and the bridge. Send love and light to all of Gaza. Send love and light to all of Ukraine. Everywhere, people. You may just think, oh, I'm only one person. So what? Only one person is a lot. It's a thought 
that is strong as an atomic bomb sometimes. And that thought is from one person. So gratitude and love and light can change a lot of things. And there's that old expression, if you want someone to treat you differently, you change yourself. Because then they have to change along with you. And if they're not willing to, then they go back to the Jerry Springer show, but you keep on moving forward. In order to get someone to change their behavior, you change yours first. And that is as simple as that. Now, the one thing I can't stress enough is gratitude. As don't quote who said this. It's a monk. I, re I, I read too much. But there was a monk that once said, if you want to get into the gates of heaven, you want to know what prayer to say? There's only two words. Thank you. Okay? All you need. So be thankful. Be grateful. And we're going to get through this together. All of us. Not one of us. Not two of us. All of us. So... We have the world in our hands, people. And I'm getting back on my soapbox. And how? By three magic words. Say along with me. Vote, vote, vote. That's how we make the changes. That's how we make the positive changes in this world. That's what we can do. In addition to putting out love, light, and all the most benevolent outcomes you can think of, vote and put out the most benevolent outcomes that the people that don't think they should vote get it and they will vote as i always say send out the light till they get it right all right so i'm sorry that i haven't been around doing solo shows but i promise you starting in april i will be doing more i'm not going to be doing as many clubs as i was i got kind of sidetracked and burnt out. And so you've been writing me, besides the crappy stuff I get, you've been writing me wonderful emails asking for solo shows. So the audience was heard. Okay, the audience spoke. I heard more solo shows are coming up. So don't forget, Tuesdays, I'm on with Mel on our Aloha Tuesdays. Once a month, I do a show with Mel and Sherry called Train the Swamp. And then once a month, I do a show with Allie and Marina called Letting Spirit Drive. And then in between, I'll be doing my solo shows. I'll be doing my member-only shows. And then again, there's shows with Matt, with Val, and and um, got some stuff with uh, Linda G coming up and others. So I'll be around. But in the meantime, if you're looking for reading... Just go to my website, ArthurEasYourMind.com, hit the blue book and appointment, and there you go. Simple as that. All right, people. So again, I promise I'll be you'll be seeing more of me. You go, oh my God, he's back. Oh my God, no, 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 go away. Sorry, you asked. <laughs> I'm being silly now because I'm overtired. It's because I had too much sugar. I had an Easter egg. I'm diabetic. I'm like a little kid on sucking down uh, pixie sticks right now. Anyway, just kidding. I love you all. You guys do. Wor mm. I sound like I'm a pod. You guys do me. I'm not going to edit that. You guys do mean the world to me. All right. I really mean that. So thank you for all that you do to help me support this channel and to help support me. And in the meantime, what do I always say? Take care of you. Take care of others. Stay safe. Have fun. And as always, stay amazing. Okay, people. Happy April. Enjoy that retrograde. Bye-bye. <laughs>